The funerals for the two Baton Rouge police officers and sheriff's deputy killed in an ambush begin tomorrow. And today, one of the injured deputies went home from the hospital. A total of six law officers were shot Sunday morning in the attack on a Baton Rouge street. Police shot and killed the gunman, Gavin Long, ending that ambush. The community and also law enforcement from across the country will now come together to honor those murdered. Fox Force Phil Alvarado spoke with one of the Fort Worth officers going to Baton Rouge. Phil. Hi, Heather. Uh, Fort Worth Police is one of uh, several uh, local police departments who are headed to Louisiana for the funerals of those three police officers who were shot, killed, and ambushed in uh, Baton Rouge. Many of their officers were here only a week ago to stand by North Texas. We're wondering when are we going to be able to take off these mourning bands and when are we going to be able to raise the flags? Thousands of law enforcement officers from departments across the country came here to honor the five officers killed in the Dallas ambush. Before the last Dallas officer was laid to rest, it happened again with Sunday's ambush killings of three officers in Baton Rouge. Waking up the next day and finding out what happened in Louisiana, it was just very disheartening to see that we had to put on that mourning band over our badge. Fort Worth is one of many North Texas police departments honoring their tradition by traveling to give comfort and support to another department with a fallen officer. But we understand that the importance of supporting another brother in blue. Our line of work is when one bleeds, we all bleed. Fort Worth is sending four officers to Friday's funeral for Baton Rouge police officer Matthew Gerald. Other Fort Worth officers will travel to Louisiana for Deputy Brad Garofola's funeral on Saturday and Officer Montrell Jackson's funeral on Monday. It's a procession of one that will grow into hundreds when they arrive in Baton Rouge. You know, we thought this would hopefully be the end of such a mass casualty that we experienced, but uh, here we are again, less than a week left. We're hoping that we never have to make this type of trip again. Dallas, of course, sending uh, their own officers to uh, Louisiana, and this comes at a time when the department, the entire city, is still grieving. Heather? All right, Phil Alvarado live in Fort Worth.